Hey guys, if you're new here, my name's Ian, and if you're not, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the iPhone SE 4, which is something that I feel like we've been hearing rumors about for a little while, but we've actually been starting to see more and more rumors come out, and this iPhone SE 4 is actually seeming to be a pretty interesting upgrade compared to the iPhone SE 3. Now, personally, I usually get the latest iPhone model, the 15, so I have the 15 Pro Max, I've had the 14 Pro Max, the 13 Pro Max, but the iPhone SE 4 is actually seeming to be a great budget upgrade for those people who don't need all the fancy bells and whistles on their phone because they just don't use them. The iPhone SE 4 is actually going to look a lot similar to that of the iPhone 14 with the smaller version of the notch and the aluminum flat edges similar to that of have we've seen since every iPhone 12 and later. So the iPhone SE 4 is going to have a screen size of 6.1 inches so it's going to be very similar to that of the iPhone 13 the and the 14 which is definitely going to be a very interesting change to the iPhone SE line as it's remained at the 4.7 inches for a while. Now it's also going to have an action button instead of a mute switch so Apple seems to be bringing the action button to every iPhone that's going to be coming out in late 2024 and the iPhone SE while actually is scheduled for some point in 2025 it's actually seeming to be a pretty decent upgrade. And it's actually going to be an OLED screen which is actually going to be a very nice change as then all of Apple's screens will be made of OLED but it's going to remain with the 60 hertz, which personally, I don't think anyone who is buying the iPhone SE is going to mind because of the fact that it's actually very hard to notice. And I use my iPhone 15 Pro Max and my iPad Air almost daily, and I don't notice the difference between 120 hertz and 60 hertz of my iPad Air. Now, the notch is going to stay around for a little longer than I think people would probably like. I'm kind of shocked Apple isn't going to go fully dynamic island. But then again, this is early 2024, and maybe this will change in the future. Now, it is also going to have one camera on the back, but it's going to be bumped up to 48 megapixels from the current 12, which is definitely going to be a nice upgrade, and it's also going to bring a bigger sensor, so because of the fact that it's going to be bigger, but it's just going to have the one camera instead of three or two, like the regular iPhone Zoom. And it's going to be have, and it's going to be equipped with the A15 chip, so the similar to that chip oh, that's in the iPhone 13s, I wouldn't be surprised if they possibly sneak an A16 Bionic chip in there from the iPhone 14s, but we'll have to see when it comes out because Apple usually tends to give the iPhone SE less powerful chip and it'll also have that 5G. Now this may or may not bring millimeter 5G to the iPhone SE as it is the only iPhone that currently does not support 5G ultra wideband or ultra capacity or millimeter wave essentially and it's going to have the same battery size as that of the iPhone 14 so it's definitely going to be a much better iPhone for cheap than we currently have now. Personally, if you're in the market for a cheap iPhone, I would go for an iPhone 14 on sale or even a 13 as those iPhones are definitely going to hold up for years and the iPhone SE is going to have some similar specs from it. So you definitely will be able to get away with an iPhone 13 for a good while, even a 14 for a good while. You don't have to upgrade to the latest and greatest if you don't think it's going to be necessary for you. But overall, this iPhone SE design seems to actually be pretty cool and I think it's going to be game changing when they bring it to the iPhone lineup but I also think the iPhone lineup needs to get slimmed down a little so there's not as many choices but that's a topic for a whole nother video but I want you to remember today's a good day to make a great day and let me know with a comment down below what your favorite iPhone SE feature is or even what iPhone you're using and how the experience has been because I feel like lately Apple has been doing something very interesting with that but I'll talk to you in the next one peace